Can we just talk about this quickly? Because I don't understand why this guy is smiling and he's happy about this and kind of reveling in it. Because I think this is kind of embarrassing. I spoke about it before, but I want to just highlight it just some more, just to drum it home to some of my male listeners out there, my men's, my mandem out there who flipping listen to me for some time, for some reason. I honestly don't think if you're a cool, you know, inspirational, um, you know, important, culturally important, really flipping, you know, artist and kind of Kid Cudi, I don't think it's worthy being this cool dude who created this amazing sound, who's got these amazing hits, who's been part of some amazing records, who's released amazing albums. There's no point in having that coolness and having all the cool tattoos, all the cool clothes, the cool shoes, perform performing at all these amazing places. If you're unable to jump from a stage that is barely six feet high. There's nothing cool about being Kid Cudi and you have no athletic ability to jump from a stage that isn't even six feet high and land on the ground without breaking your foot. That is quite embarrassing. And that just shows you why I've always said, I think it's, it's so important for men especially to play sports. As, I wouldn't say at a serious level, but con, you know, consistently from the ages of like zero to at least 13. So you have a good base of knowledge of how your body moves, coordination. You also have knowledge and experience of how to fall correctly, how to tumble, how to roll with your falls, how to jump from a tree down onto the ground, how to climb a gate. All these things are super important as a man, I think in general, or just as a person, forget men, just as a human being, it's important to know how to move your body, how to, you know, prevent yourself from getting hurt how to kind of, you know, regain your balance when you're kind of falling over. Just general things. And if you're Kid Cudi and you're super cool, right? Imagine not being able to jump from this looking type of a stage, not even six feet high onto the ground without breaking your foot, especially the way that he did it. Look at how he fell down. And he broke his foot. With a song playing in the background, it's hilarious. <laughs> Look at the sign they make. The sign they make, he's out. The X, the guy makes the X sign. He's out, he's out, he's out. <laughs> We've got a foul at the front of the stage. Bro, somehow Kid Cudi decided it was a good idea to jump from it. If you again, if you're not watching the video, Kid Cudi is dancing or is performing on stage at Coachella. He decides he wants to jump down and kind of connect with the fans. And he jumps from the stage, but he jumps sideways. I've never seen anybody jump from up up above to the ground sideways. That's what fucks him up. He jumps side. You're not meant to jump side. You're meant to jump forward. Bend your jump forward. Bend your knees as you land. It's not that difficult. But he decides to jump sideways, and obviously, as he jumps sideways, his back foot, or I think his back foot, kind of gets stuck, and he kind of buckles underneath it. And one, his, his foot stays still, but his body moves forward and, you know, it goes crack. And something obviously happens. Maybe it's his ankle, maybe it's his foot. But look how he's jumping. Like, who jumps sideways onto the ground? It's a crazy angle to jump like that. And also, he didn't need to do that. There's clearly different things there. He could have easily just, you know, lowered himself there and then jumped from that particular barrier or lowered himself into one of the other boxes and jumped a bit shorter. He didn't need to jump so high, from so high up especially if he doesn't have the minerals to do so. And look how he lands. Look, he's kind of in a good position there. But then as he lands, he lands sideways. You know, look, like he's, he's side on. His back is facing us. Like, how is that even possible? And I think that all comes from guys who don't do sports. There's been a big, I, I don't know, I've seen loads of dudes nowadays just say, oh, I don't watch sports. Cool. Don't watch sports if you don't like to watch sports. But not being able to know how to move your body, not being able to know how to like run for a bus or how to run upstairs without tripping over or how to like, you know, jump off and off, a, up and down a curb on a bike. Those are really important things to know how to do. And I feel like nowadays guys are just a bit useless. Like 
What's the point of having a body if you don't know how to fucking use it? It makes no sense. And obviously, here's Kid Cudi sending a tweet. This is my first... Sorry, this is me right after the fall in the ambulance. All smiles like a G. No pain could have stopped me from feeling the joy I felt from the show. To everyone who came out yesterday and has been checking in on me, sending love, I fucking love you. Coachella, that's how we rage. You know how we do every time. Festival card, always a dope experience. Yo, it's embarrassing. Don't make it seem like it's a rage. It wasn't a rage. You tried to jump from the stage to the ground, barely six feet, and you broke your foot. It's not like he's fat and he's got too much weight and he couldn't support it. No, you just have no coordination. You have no athleticism. You don't know how to fucking move your body. So what? again, what's the point of having all the cool tattoos or the cool clothes if you can't jump from a stage that's barely six feet high? It's utterly, utterly, utterly embarrassing. Like, really? Because if I'm not mistaken too, foot injuries take a long time to heal. There's loads of little tiny bones in the foot. So this could be an injury that is kind of, you know, God forbid, but touch wood, but it could be an injury that can reoccur. Like you have to be very careful with your feet. And this guy just like gave himself a fucking broken foot for free because he doesn't know how to jump from the stage to the ground. Like it's not even that high. It really isn't that high at all. I've jumped from higher trees, from higher walls, and this guy broke his whole foot. <laughs> so useless, like what? <laughs> the crescendo. Ah, it's so hilarious. They were just standing there looking at him like, yeah, this guy broke his foot. Oh mate, honestly, what an absolute idiot. But anyway, um, Godspeed to Kid Cuddy. Hopefully he gets better soon. Hopefully he gets better soon. But like I said, it's his own fault. And there is a message true, you know. Every, everything is content nowadays, right? You fall from a stage onto the ground and you can't do it correctly. You should feel a little bit ashamed, right? You should be a little bit ashamed that you did that. Well, not in this day and age. Kid Cudi's now made it into a whole media thing. He put out a video statement now in his hospital, I guess hospital bed or maybe bed, talking about what happened. Let's see what he's to say. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah. Um, shit got real yesterday this is this is what happens when a 40 year old man tries to prance around off stage like he's 26 you're 40 bro you're not 60 steven tyler is still dancing around on stage with skinny jeans jumping up and down doing burpees and backflips steven fucking tyler and how old is steven fucking tyler how old is that guy he must be like 75 or something Steven T Taylor, how, Steven Tyler, sorry. How old is he? How old is that motherfucker? He's still on stage, six, 76, 76 years old. And he's on stage with skinny jeans and fucking Cuban heels, dancing, prancing around, live on stage, doing the damn thing. And Keith Cut is here, I'm a 40 year old man. I'm like, bro, man, come on, man. You're just washed. That's what you are. You're fucking washed. Too much time snorting, too much time smoking, and not enough time picking up a fucking dumbbell or some kettlebells. Come on, man. Like you used to do back in the day. <laughs> uh, I learned a valuable lesson. No, no more prancing around, jumping off stages. Um, uh, I'm hoping... Aren't you embarrassed? ...that I'll be healed up in time for tour. Um, that's the plan. Um, I don't want to let you guys down. Um, no, nah, let us down, man. Let us down. So, we don't want to see um, you. Let us down. Yeah, that's the that's what we're aiming for. So, uh, not canceling anything just yet. Um, <laughs> just gonna wait and see how things need that going. money in it, huh? Need that money yeah. in it. You're kind of regretting it now. You need that fucking festival money, don't you, brother? Festival money is in jeopardy now because you couldn't jump from a six foot stage absolutely embarrassing absolutely embarrassing but hey what can you do what can you do